How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the Abyss. I'm at Sigala. Welcome to the first official Saturday Night Blasphemy. Today's episode just going to be a quick breakdown of the Projectionist and their 2018 record, Visits from the Night Hag, Part 1. So yeah, if you're interested in hearing a little more, let's check this thing out. Alright, for those of you that might have seen my um, mystery box on packaging from Appalachian Noise, may have already seen this. Yeah, again, this is the Projectionist with Visits from the Night Hag, Part 1. Sounds like that they're working on Part 2, and that hopefully will be released sometime this year or next year. Um, comes on a really nice, cool blue vinyl. Looks pretty good. Sounds amazing. Um, yeah, and I will say, one thing about this record, it is absolutely best enjoyed, you know, following along with the lyric sheet, um, just to kind of get the whole story, this whole thing from start to finish is kind of a concept. So you really kind of need it to enjoy fully. But yeah, uh, let's break this down. We'll, we'll talk about the artwork, the vocals, the guitars, the drums, and kind of everything in the final atmosphere and kind of my rating at the end. So let's dive in. All right, so those familiar with the uh, U.S. black metal band, um, Idolatry, idolatry. Um, might be familiar with the, uh, the you know the vocalists of this band. Again, this is the Projectionist visits from the Night Hag Part One, and um, you know if you've never heard of the Projectionist, they are a Canadian black metal band. Um, I believe they're on Winter Wolf Records right now. Um, although I did purchase this through Appalachian Noise, it seems like they carry their stuff from time to time. Been around since 2015, and again, this is their 2018 full length, and it looks like. Uh, it's actually their third full length already, and they've been around since 2015, so kudos. Looks like they have a few splits, that kind of stuff. Well, let's, let's really break this thing down. Um, I think my favorite part of this record would have to be the vocals. Vocals are very unsettling in nature, uh, different layers, different styles of vocals, from like a clean chant to a typical black metal sound to a very ghostly, kind of otherworldly, demonic, like, like shrieks and... Just really chilling, haunting stuff, and it's just awesome. It's definitely right up my alley. And I think it really lends to the total atmosphere of this record, which really is exactly what it says. You know, visits from the night hag. It's got that night terror, chilling, something's watching me in the dark feel to it. So definitely right up my alley, like I said. So if you're into maybe not stereotypical black metal vocals and you're looking for something with a little bit more depth or range or just, you know, haunt factor, then yeah, definitely this record might be for you. All right, so after hitting on the vocals a little bit, I think the next logical step would be the guitars. Uh, I love how they compose the guitars on this record. Uh, very dissonant, creepy, you know, not overdone. Not too, it's not too much, it's not too little. So, I mean, it kind of hits that sweet spot and really just adds thick layers of atmosphere on top of this record and really just fits that haunting image very well. Um, lots of great riffs, like good tremolo runs, a good thick atmosphere, like I said. There's also a lot of background noise. I'm not sure if they're, you know, from keyboards or synths or whatever, but just these weird, you know, atmospheric tones and chimes and things just really blend with the guitars. And just like I said, this whole album, everything about it is very chilling. It's very cold, haunting, the kind of stuff, you know, that feeling you get at night when you wake up out of the middle of the night and you think somebody's staring at you from the corner. I mean, that, that's the kind of atmosphere this record brings, and I think they nailed it right on the head. But yeah, so the guitar is extremely well done. Just perfect amount of distortion. They sit perfectly in the mix, in my opinion. Not too loud, not too quiet. They're like right there in that mid-range, right where they should be. You know, the vocals are nice and audible over top without drowning out the guitar. So I think, you know, you can't beat that when the mix is near perfection like that. So yeah, I mean, so far, I mean, there's nothing about this record I have to complain about so far. All right, and... When you talk about all that and then, you know, you get into the drums, like, I'm not going to say that the drums were bad by any means. I thought they were very good. They're mixed perfectly. Timing, you know, hitting everything was right in pocket. Um, but, you know, there was, you know, nothing I thought that were super stand out about the drums. I mean, they're typical black metal drums. You know, they go into like doomy style rhythms and then, you know, it picks up the pace, things like that. But all in all, very good. I just would like to have seen a little more to kind of add to that creepy element, maybe some more chiming or something like that but all in all really solid drum work can't complain about it i just would have liked to see them add to the atmosphere a bit more 
All right, so we kind of hit on the instruments and the vocals, that kind of stuff. Now I'm kind of circling back to the concept of the record. Um, there's the band members all break down and did multiple voices for each one, I believe, except for one of the people. So we'll just kind of show this real quick. It's the, uh, the front of the lyric sheet and it, uh, kind of breaks down, you know, who does what. So you have Lord Matagatis, who's, I believe the, the normal main vocalist. He plays George, Harry, Harry Vermin, and the overall narration. Caesar Tiberius plays Dr. Bendix and then. Avon Haunts plays the Night Hag and the Nurse. So you can kind of see their picture, their name underneath, and then the characters they play underneath their name. It's really cool. And kind of breaks down who did what on the record. You know, bass players, you know, the drums, all that kind of stuff, and, you know, solo piano, funeral choir, all that kind of stuff. And it's really cool. I mean, it's just a haunting, awesome story to listen to. You know, and it kind of goes through everything we kind of hit on, you know, sleep paralysis, stuff like that, you know, dementia's wheel strapped and taken to adjacent halls. I mean, bewitched unto death, paralysis of the subconscious toxins. I mean, it's just so haunting and chilling. And I believe, you know, it's a really good story. I mean, like I said, throw the record on if you own it. Um, and just go through, listen to the whole damn thing, you know, turn the lights down a little bit and kind of read along. And that's kind of what I did on the second listen. And, it really upped the atmosphere of the record, just truly understanding what everybody was talking about. Some of the vocals are very hard to make out, you know, audibly what they're saying. But yeah, here it's, I mean, it's pretty much a play with a script, and you just have this awesome haunting atmosphere with it. So, like I said, I love horror. I love black metal. So this is almost a perfect record for me. And if I had to give it a rating, say, out of 10, I'd probably give this maybe an 8. Eight and a half. I liked it that much. Awesome stuff. Again, this is The Projectionist, The Visits of the Night Hag Part 1. Definitely looking forward to more stuff, and I am definitely going to go check out these guys' past discography and see what I can pick up. Anyway, guys, this was just a quick, brief kind of breakdown of the record. Nothing too crazy, but I did want to start getting into a cadence of the Saturday Night Blasphemy videos. Again, album reviews, discussion videos. If I collab with somebody, I'll try to do it on Saturday. Um... Pretty much anything. I mean, if you guys have something that you would like, like Q and A's, we'll probably do on here. Um, rant videos, if I do one. But yeah, so we'll, like I said before, we'll keep you know regular collection updates separate, Metalhead Box separate, unless it's something that's just crazy, and then I'll add it to it. But yeah, I really appreciate everybody tuning in so far. We're getting closer to that hundred subs, so big giveaway and Q and A coming up for that. But yeah, hails and horns. We'll see you soon.